because we're not using any lengths or anything in the tool the only thing that matters is the radius and that's purely for the graphics okay. so if you go into your tool table so you've got to be you're in a manual mode there so you're in that hand mode and you see that tool table button so we're going to the tool table and then we can cursor up and down with the arrow keys so we've gotten down the tools okay and if we wanted to put a tool in say we want to put a tool in at 25 so cursor down to 25 and you have to hit that edit button you see that where it said edit, edit on and off that soft key up there oh yeah yeah press that and now it'll allow you to write into that tool so all you need to do really is just put a name for it so we put end mill so type in there end mill Yeah, then cursor along. Yeah, you'll see its length doesn't matter. Radius. Put the radius in as the real radius of the tool. So this is a if it's a 12 mm you put six in there. So just put six in there. Oh it's half in there. Uh, yeah, did that go in? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's the radius of the tool. And then you can just press N now. And that's done that so that tool now exists so in there now you've got tool 27 which is a six mil end mill so if you call that in the graphics it'll work because it's got that in there so every time you're going to have to make sure you've got a tool to call out but in your actual program when you run it for real it doesn't matter what tool you call because obviously it, it's got no length but it's important you don't put a length in there because otherwise when you call it in program it will crash because it will take that length into account it'll go wrong so the only thing you can fill in in there is the radius nothing else just the name of it and the radius and that will then work when you call it in your program